Ich habe jetzt gewählt Talent, ich kann nicht gleich bald kosher. Röne ich gewann alle Benox, hier auf Robertson, es war's Hockey Lenting. Es ist ein Karim gleich ein, ich kann nicht mich in Olympic auch. Yeah, I think at the age that I had to choose um, between football and hockey in particular, um, I was about 16, 17, and at that time I was breaking into sort of Hib's senior ladies team, and obviously football's a bit more of a game where it's the starting 11 and then the subs come on potentially. So I was, you know, often a sub and maybe getting five, 10 minutes at the end of games, whereas hockey's a fully rotational sport. So, you know, all 16 or 18 players get used throughout the match tends to be split quite equally the minutes um, and I think also I'd only been playing hockey since I was you know 12, 13 so at that stage I was massively still on the up in terms of I was still learning developing as a player and I was just loving getting better at every training session um, and I think also at that point um, the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games they were only sort of three or four years around the corner and I remember my name getting put in the hat for that and just thinking wow how amazing would that be to you know represent Scotland at a multi-sport tournament like the Commonwealth Games and also at hockey being an Olympic sport just the opportunity to you know sort of potentially go to a Commonwealth and Olympic Games was just too good to turn down. Haseraid alaparachgachu barachnaki at Turis agas vai mar farsh yn skipit ag leib baunor ag farpas euro hockey aga e dash yn a davilis yn eich jiak. Yeah that was amazing um That's one of my best memories playing for Scotland, to be honest. I think after the sort of 2018 Commonwealth Games, in particular, we went through a bit of a transition and we obviously got a new coach in and we had quite a lot of young players. So it was a bit of a rebuilding phase. Um, and obviously we were playing in the B division, which is the one below the top. Um, and we were determined to go out and get promotion. And you have to finish top two for that. So once we secured top two, you know, we were going into that final just thinking, We're playing at home, we want to make this extra special and go home with a gold medal. So to do that with sort of a young, new, exciting squad, um, yeah, was epic memories created at Glasgow Green. Vasera is <laughs> late holiday, Gajahi Henyamachuk Mar Farsha Skipper Breiting, or Sonic Gemichan on a Tokyo. Gu Harish Lishna do the stay and skipper, or Sonic Gemichan Olympicuk on the Rio, and a Davilus a Shia Chiak. Yeah, I think for me. Um, I've chased the Olympic dream for a long time now. Um, I've been part of the GB team for seven years and missed out on Rio selection. Um, so I was very hungry to go to Tokyo and, you know, sort of get that Olympic experience. So I've worked hard for a long time to make that happen. So when yeah, you eventually see your name on the team sheet, it's a massive source of celebration. Um, but also pressure, you know, the team got picked in May and the games weren't until July. So, you know, it's great to see your name on the list, but then you're starting thinking, okay, I need to be flying in two months' time. And, you know, we want to just, we want to go and do well, not just go and make up the numbers. So, yeah, I think until you're there and you step out on the pitch, it doesn't become a reality. Gharta hunya ag sera an a Tokyo dia gamor, is hoki bound ua ag jidag gnoi kuchach. As I say, I've chased going to the Olympics for a long time now and it completely exceeded all expectations I had. Being part of Team GB was absolutely incredible. You know, they put on such a professional show. We could want for nothing. We had everything available to us. Just made it so easy to go out there and perform. Um, and Japan hosted an absolutely incredible games, you know, given the circumstances with COVID. They put together an amazing village, amazing venues, The volunteers were just so enthusiastic to have us. Um, yeah, it was, we, we were out there for a month and it was just absolutely incredible. Yeah, I've got the medal here. Bring it out. <laughs> um, here you go. Yeah, um, I don't often get that out to look at it, so it's nice to get a chance to bring it out. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, for me just to go and be part of the team, that was what I'd chased for a long time, just to be out there and be part of the team GB um, so to actually for all the hard work to pay off and actually bring home a medal just was completely surreal um, you know when we won that bronze medal match it just was like oh my god has that actually just happened um, and then you know the whole six eight weeks that followed that I have a lot of celebrations back home in London and also back up in Scotland so It was amazing to come home and be able to share that moment as well with friends and family that have supported me for a long time in my career. 
Y ganyan ymwch droch orstran tron y driacht, a sera mocht a gudu ddi siachatar, agus gafilla hymyr spors, has de cors to ddi y cymwr. Yeah, I think the end of the Olympic Games is a natural time to sort of look back, you know, um, as you say, I've got like 165 caps now and there's always a bit of downtime after the game so you can sort of take stock and yeah, I think to this point I'm incredibly proud of what I've achieved. I think for it to all sort of culminate in the summer with yeah, an Olympic medal puts a lot of the hard work um, towards something that's um, extremely like meaningful and you know life-changing in some ways. Um, but yeah, I'm very proud to have um, had the journey I've had so far. It's not all been highs, you know, there's been a lot of bumps in the journey as well, you know, non-selection, injury. When you're at those points, you've either got a choice of, you know, you just accept it or it makes you even hungrier. I think for me, every time I've been knocked back, you know, select, non-selection, injury, you know, it makes you have a look at yourself, where have I gone wrong or what can I improve? And I think it, makes you assess how much do you actually want this are you willing to put in the work um i certainly feel like every time i've had a setback i've come back stronger from it um you know it makes you that little bit hungrier to come back onto the pitch and absolutely smash it so yeah i think it it gives you that natural um self-evaluation of where you're going to go and yeah i'm proud to have always sort of smashed the setbacks and i think without them i wouldn't be the, the player or the person that i am today